On this video, I'm going to share with you my secret weapon tool that helped me solve the issue of split shipments on Amazon. A lot of Amazon FBA sellers, when they come to create a shipping plan on Amazon, they realize that Amazon splitting the shipment into a three, um, sometimes less, in my experience, it was uh, the maximum was three FBA locations. That makes the entire shipment process very expensive, make the logistics very problematic, and in this video I'm going to share with you exactly how to solve it very very quickly and efficiently um, so make sure that you watch the entire video this is very powerful and I'm sharing this for the first time here um, on uh, YouTube okay so my secret weapon um, the tool called the shipment market or shipment maker pro it used to be shipment market pro I guess they changed their name this tool saved me a ton of money and I'm sharing it for the first time here on YouTube. I did mention it before and I only shared it with people that uh, sent me uh, an email, but now I'm sharing it with everyone else. So this is very powerful. The first thing you need to do is to connect your seller account. If I'm not wrong, they offer like free trial. I'll put a link to it, but let's check the free uh, option. What trial they have? They have three day trial, so you can check it out. See if it's good fit for you or not. But I think definitely if you want to solve the uh, splitting issue when you create a shipping plan, this tool is the best for you. So start a free trial, connect your seller account. They will uh, ask you to connect your, you know, it as a third party tool to, to get access so they can create on your behalf through the API, the plans themselves. And you can connect as many uh, you know, if I'm not wrong, as many with the pro plan, as many uh, uh, seller accounts uh, as you want. So that was very powerful for me when I had two accounts. So how you solve this issue? If you guys enjoy the content that I'm working very hard to provide and produce for you for free, please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to the channel and comment with any feedback or questions do you have, because I personally reply to every comment. So with new shipments, and again, I'm going to choose some of my products. So you know what, let me guide you here. So when you click on new shipment, you will need to choose the input data method. I like to use the search. So you're going to put your, the ASIN itself. Then you choose the packaging type. In my case, all the products are in cases. So, you know, one ASIN in one case, let's say 50 units per case. Um, but if you have multiple different ASINs in one box, you are going to choose the individual products. In my case, again, it's case spec products and most of the sellers that do FBA private label, it's the same. Then who prepped the label? Usually it's the merchant, it means that you already have the sticker, you already have the FNSQ label or ACE, uh, UPC, uh, but if you don't, then you'll need to choose Amazon, which they charge 50 cents, if I'm not wrong, per labeling, per unit. So here you're going to select the product. I'm going to choose here one of the products. Then it's going to ask you for the unit per case. In my case, let's say it's 40 and then we do 10 case, number of cases, okay? Oh, you know what? I'm going to share with you real live example for the same ASIN. Uh, let me just pause it. Show you how Amazon will want me to split it when I do it through Seller Central and how uh, you can actually create a shipment through here to one location, okay? Let me pause this and show you. Okay, so as you guys uh, probably hear that I sold my FBA business recently and I got more free time to help and coach others. Um, so I wanted to remind you that if you are interested to get my opinion, my con coaching, my mentorship, you can book your one-on-one -on -one coaching call through our website, which is sourcing-monster.com forward slash coaching. It's not the cheapest out there, but I'm not competing with other people. You know, I know what uh, you will be able to get. And also as a giveaway, I'm going to choose one of the commenters for this video and they will get a 15 minutes uh, call with me uh, to ask me anything. Uh, so this is something that I want to give back. And again, you have to just like and comment to this video and uh, we'll choose one in a week from now. So that's about it. 
And another thing that I wanted to share is that I'm working on creating a program. It's not going to be like a course, but it's going to be a program where I kind of take uh, five entrepreneurs or sellers. I would prefer probably to have sellers that are already selling and they want to take their business to the next level. That's going to be like two months program that we will meet each week. All of us, the five people and me in a Zoom call, we're going to share with you some homework and things uh, that to help you scale your business and understand what are the bottlenecks in your business. The first round of people that will join the program, it will be very minimal. Probably like my end goal is really because I know what my time worth is to, to have something like that costs like $5,000 for the two months program. But for, be, for the beginning, probably I'm going to charge 500 to 1000 in order for you to participate. So it's not for everyone, only for serious sellers, only for people that want to tap into my knowledge and experience, scaling my business to seven figures, exiting and kind of uh, leaving this Amazon FBA space. So this is uh, the way to create a shipping plan through the interface of Seller Central. To, I'm not going to really repeat how you get here. You go to in, inventory manager, B inventory, send and replenish inventory on the drop down. Here, we're going to have the same thing, case packed product. Continue to the shipping plan. It's going to ask you the same thing 40 units per case, 10 cases, 400 units. Let's see where Amazon wants us to ship it. Uh, here, uh, continue. Okay, in this event, Amazon wants us to ship it to two locations, which is super annoying. He wants us to ship it to Dallas and to Memphis. So let's uh, share with you how to ship it into one location. Going to go to new shipment. Merchant. Put the ASIN. 40. 10. Next. I'm going to choose the location that I'm shipping it from. It could be China. It could be whatever you're shipping it from. You can also put dummy address. Now, as you can see, it's still giving me only these two options, but I can choose only one. Okay. So here you're going to click next. Next. Here you're going to call it the shipping name name. Let's do test. Create shipment. And I'll show you that it will be only to one location. So let's go here, Menev Jeff BA shipments, test. Okay, where he wants us to ship it? To Memphis, the one we choose. Straightforward, very simple, will save you a ton of time, headaches, and more importantly, money. So I hope you enjoy this. Um, you know, use the link below on the description that we'll put to this tool. I'm not affiliated with them or anything, even though I'm, this is affiliated link, they don't reward anyone yet. As you can see, if we go to shipment, refer a friend, this is my referral friend, but they don't really give me anything. Hopefully in the future they will. So, you know, obviously it's a win-win. You enjoy it. You help me with that too. But I didn't really do it for the affiliate link. I did it because I know it's a problem that a lot of sellers have and, you know, just want to give value and help you uh, solve issues on Amazon. So that's it for this video. Appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next one.